Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting questions every day and today we have a really interesting challenge, we have 30 plus 45 times 2. So this looks like a pretty easy problem, but many of you are going to get this wrong and you probably be a little bit shocked, but don't panic, I'm going to fully explain you why you're probably going to get this wrong and how to avoid this particular mistake. Well, let me go ahead and tell you the problem we have, as I told before, 30 plus 45 times 2. So where is the problem on the first side? So everyone handle this question in the third grade, everyone know about this addition, everyone know about this multiplication, so that's fantastic. So what is the answer? And we don't want to use our calculator, so right now I suggest you to pause the video, try to solve it by yourself. What do you think is a correct answer? We have three options, so choose one option, what do you think, and write your option down into the comment section, but don't use your calculator, it will be really interesting to check our answers. So here is our question, we have 30 plus 45 and times 2. So one part of students who don't know about mass operations, who don't know about order of operations, solve this question from, from left to right, we have 30 plus 45, which is equal to uh, 75, and 75 times 2, we have 150. So one part of students solve this question like that, they say that the correct answer is 150. And I want you to understand that in math we can't solve this question chaotically, we should know about the order of operation, we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, because obviously, whatever order of operation we select, so addition, multiplication, or multiplication, or addition, we will have the different answers. So in mass we should know what is one and only one correct order of operation. For this question, let's look, for example, at this PIM DMC. This PIM DMC, this is a uh, mass operation order, we have a lot of steps right here, and let's check this question with this PIM DMC, let's check with this 150, which is option A, with this PIM DMC. Maybe 150 is the correct answer, but let's check it. So we have 30, plus 45 and times 2. 30 plus 45 times 2. Okay, let's look at our at our question. So right here we have our order, order of operations, so the first step is parentheses. As I told before, we don't have any parentheses, so we can easily skip this part with parentheses, which is, which is really great for us, because with parentheses this question will be more complicated, we don't have any parentheses, and it's really good. What about exponents? We don't have any exponents, we don't have any squares, cubes, so we just skip this part as well. So right here we don't have any parentheses, we don't have any exponent, so let's go to the next step. The next step according to PMDMC is multiplication, and a lot of students uh, do this common mistake, they say multiplication, now we should multiply it first, but this is one common group with this division, so multiplication and division according to PMDMC have the same priority, so now we should look at it as a group, so multiplication and division, this is one common group, and let's find where do we have this multiplication and division sign. So right here we have addition sign, we are not interested in this, and right here we have multiplication sign, which is really good for us, so we are interested in this case at first. So we have we have multiplication sign and we don't have any any division sign. So as you can see uh, we have four steps right here, we don't have parentheses, exponent and division, but we have multiplication. So it looks like we should start from this multiplication, which is really important for us because right here we start with addition, which is really big mistake in terms of math, but according to PMDMC correct, order is multiplication then addition. So we have 30 plus 45 times 2 equal to equal to 90. And our last step is addition, because our last step is addition and subtraction group, and we have this addition right here, and this is our last step. We don't have any subtraction. So as you can see, we have only two steps, multiplication and addition. And if you look closely, multiplication is all the time before addition, all the time. Division is all the time before addition, subtraction is all the time um, before uh, after division. So multiplication and division group is before addition and subtraction group. This is the main rule. And let's go to our last step, 30 plus 90 equal to 100 and 120. But one really interesting moment, if you look closely to the option, we don't have this option, we have option A, B and C, we don't have this option 120, and then if maybe students solve this correctly, but then they go back to this wrong answer, because they say that we should, we should, um, we don't have this option right here, and we should go back to this answer, because we have this option 150, and the correct answer is option A. But a correct answer is not option A, because this is very bad solution, with parentheses, this is a great solution, because we should start from these parentheses, but we don't have parentheses in our case, 
So we just skip this part. Right here with parentheses, addition will be our first step because addition is inside our parentheses and then we will have multiplication. So parentheses, then multiplication. Multiplication is all the time after parentheses and as you can see our, our correct answer is 120. So forget about this solution, this is a very bad solution, with parentheses this is great solution but we don't have parentheses so we forget about this 150. Our correct answer is 120 and let's look at options. So right here we have 5 factorial. Let's look at this 5 factorial. 5 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 1 to 5. And if you look closely, this is equal to 150 because this is like uh, 1 times 2, 2, 2 times 3, 6, and 6 times 4, 24, and 24 times 5 equal to 120. So this is like a tricky question because of this factorial. So we hope you solve this correctly. So according to this question, correct answer is 120. According to this test, Correct answer is option. Option C is a correct answer to this question. So we hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learn uh, learn something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, you can just go through my YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.